Welcome back to the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi here with John Parker Wilson, our Alabama football analyst. And we're going to be taking a look this week at Alabama's season opening win over West Virginia, 33-23 to up in the Georgia Dome. John Parker, just your quick thoughts on, on this win for Alabama to open the season. Well, I think it's great football's back. Uh, we came out a little less dominant than we wanted to. I think the Tide's got a lot of work to, to do. Um, I think but between week one and week two is when you really make your biggest improvements of the season. I think the players can go back and study this film, look at what they did good, and more importantly, look at what they did bad and look at ways to, to get better for next week. Well, we're going to look at some of the good and bad plays uh, in this film room segment this week. We're going to start off with the first offensive play of the game, Blake Sims' first snap at the uh, quarterback position for Alabama. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, I think here it's big that Coach Kiffin and Coach Saban came out throwing the ball. They said, we're going to give you the ball early. And not only that, but we're going to try to put it in one of our best playmakers. I think we throw a quick little uh, screen out here to Amari Cooper. Um, and DeAndre Wright really gets a play going with this huge block. Tough loss for the Tide right here. Going to lose them for a couple weeks. But him coming out here, setting the tone, this is how we're going to do it. You know, our receivers are going to get down the field and block. Um, it was good for Sims to get going, have that confidence early. All right, next we're going to look at a play where early on in the game uh, we see Blake Sims kind of feeling a little bit of pressure being put in a sort of tough situation here on third down. Let's, uh, let's talk about this play. Yeah, no question. This is a big play right here. We're third down, we're backed up, and Blake Sims ends up throwing the ball out of our own end zone. So it's not a good situation to start with. I think he does a great job by, by reading this play out. He sees the underneath route taken. It's covered. So he goes to his next read, the deep end cut to Mari Cooper. So I think he does a good job here of seeing the play develop, seeing the linebacker take the underneath route, and he comes back to the, to the end cut. I think he puts a good ball, and Amari does a good job of fighting for that first down and getting the first down yards needed. All right, so right here we're going to see a play where Alabama was able to sort of improvise a little bit and, and, and make a play happen here when, when things started to break down. Yeah, a little backyard football right here. Second and two, uh, the coach decided they weren't going to run the ball two times in a row to try to get the first down. We're going to try to take it, take it by air. So we see uh, Sims right here. He starts to read to his left, and we've got a little, little curl route with a wheel route, but they take it away. It's guarded, and we've got to make a play after that. So he rolls to the right right here. Christian Jones does a great job of seeing that Sims has escaped the pocket. The play's broken down and finds a good void in the defense. He just finds a soft spot where no defender's at. Sims finds him. They make, make a big first down play right here. All right, so uh, an overall pretty strong performance for Blake Sims in his first start, but obviously there was a, a notable mistake, uh, a bad play here, and an interception in the fourth quarter. Let's break this play down here. Yeah, I, I think this is a big, a big play in the game right here. We're coming out, we're moving the ball. You know, we're up by a touchdown right here, and a lot to learn from Blake. Um, I think that you can get into, into bad situations like this, and you can, you can learn a lot from it. I think with the defense getting soft like this on a first down play, we've got four vertical routes, and – they're just a little too soft for this deep down the field shot. O.J. Howard hadn't caught a ball to this point in the game, so we might be trying to force it just a little bit. I think Blake can come back and learn a lot from this because there are other guys that are open. And this, especially this situation in the game where, where if we can go down and get a field goal, it's kind of going to ice the game and, and we'll have it in the bag. So, so he can come out next week, see this on tape, and really get in there and, and see the different nuances of the defense and kind of how the offense is set up to, to attack these, these defenses. So we're, we're mostly focusing on the quarterback here. Obviously, Alabama did a pretty good job running the game as well. Just your thoughts on Alabama's effectiveness of coming out and being able to run behind this new offensive line. Yeah, I think it was very important. We came out, set the tone early up front. I think with that run game, we were able to take some of the pressure off the quarterback. It was good to see those guys, you know, Yeldon and Henry, get some carries, get some good yards, have some big runs, score some touchdowns, and really get the game going. I think look for a lot of this coming up this season because those guys are going to get some carries. All right, well, we're going to break down next week's game uh, when we join you again next week from here in the AL.com film room.